Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand packet switching. In that, we will try to understand about datagram approach. So, before understanding the different types of packet switching, let's try to understand about packet switching. In our previous classes, we have discussed about routing and forwarding. One of the services that are provided by the network layer, routing and forwarding. And that video is very important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class because this is the diagram that we have used. This is the example that we have used. Uh, in our previous video for understanding so the same example we are using uh, so if you haven't watched that video please watch that video and come back here and if every, every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class what is meant by packet switching whenever a packet network layers packet is received at the router okay so the router's job is to uh, use the header fields of the uh, network layer packet and based upon that network layer packets based upon the source address uh, destination address fields of the network layer packet it is going to apply it is going to decide where it has to be the packet has to be switched that switching so the packets are to be switched to be transmitted so that switching can be done the, the there are two different ways to switch the packets two different methods to switch the packets so the two different approaches not on not methods two different approaches switching means don't consider it as forwarding it is not just forwarding so the entire process of transmitting the data within the network within this entire network is what we call it as packet switching and uh, there are two different approaches one is datagram approach which is also called as connectionless service and the other one is virtual circuit approach which is also called as connection oriented service so we'll try to understand about virtual circuit approach in our later videos in this class we'll try to understand about datagram approach the name itself states that it is connectionless service what is this connectionless service so in order to transmit the data uh, into the network in order to switch the packets uh, from source to destination there is no connection established just the packets will be transmitted uh, randomly into the network so this is how one of the pa packet switching met methodology approach that is used so here here uh, we will try to understand with source and destination the source is a and destination is b so what the source will do is source systems will continuously generate the packets that are to be transmitted so the, those packets uh, for example assume that one two three four are the packets that are uh, transmitted uh, that are generated by a and they will be received at the default router now the router what it will do is uh, this is one kind of method where where the packets are transmitted randomly into the uh, uh, into the network in the sense for example the first packet has been transmitted at, uh, through this interface called one second uh, through this interface uh, for example if you consider this as uh, i3 interface 3 i2 and i1 so if this is the kind of uh, data transmission this is the kind of packet switching that is being done on the network uh, then the packets will be randomly transmitted okay so here the packet uh, 1 is transmitted through i2 and uh, packet 2 is transmitted to i uh, uh, i3 and similarly 3 and 4 are transmitted through i1 so based upon the availability availability at those interfaces the packets will get transmitted similarly uh, at this router the 3 has been transmitted into this line and the 4 has been transmitted into this line at this router first 3 has been transmitted and later 1 has been transmitted based upon the distances between the routers the packet transmissions are done for example if this is the shortest distance from here to here so 
the three will get transmitted first and uh, there are different types of delays also which we will discuss in our later videos so this packet uh, 3 and 1 has been transmitted uh, to this line and at the router at this router again this this packet has been transmitted so what what is the way in which the packets has been received at the b for example if this is our destination uh, system to which the packets has to be transmitted the way in which the packets has been transmitted is 1 2 3 4 and the way in which the packets has been received is 2 4 3 1 it is the it is the destinations objective it is the destinations uh, sorry it is the destinations duty to rearrange the packets because the messages are to be executed right the messages that are being transmitted nothing but the code okay so that that uh, uh, messages that are being transmitted has to be executed in order to execute that they are to be in the order in which that uh, that has been uh, in which the source has been transmitted has transmitted so for that rearrangement based upon these numbers based upon these numbers packet numbers the things will get rearranged so there is a specific field called sequence number and based upon the sequence numbers uh, in the uh, network uh, network header uh, ip header or it we call it as network layer uh, header packet header so based up uh, that field based upon that field called sequence number these things will get rearranged and received at b and the processing is done again the packets will get transmitted as it is a datagram approach the packets will be done uh, will be transmitted randomly okay so this is one of the approach of packet switching uh, which is datagram approach hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching